Hello everybody, I'm happy to announce uh, the launching of the Journal of Evidence-Based Healthcare, also called Evidence. This journal is an in initiative of Baiana School of Medicine and Public Health uh, under the scope of our Center of Evidence-Based Medicine. Uh, first of all, I need to explain you why do we need another medical journal. There are so many, with so many original articles and some, so many poor quality articles that have been published. And what makes me think, uh, do we really need another medical journal? Uh, in 1994, in a Saturday, uh, Douglas Altman published in the British Medical Journal the famous article, The Scandal of Poor Medical Research, where he talked about uh, scientific integrity and all those problems that takes place in, in, in science uh, or I, I, I'm not sure I can call it exactly science but in research uh, that makes uh, so many publications false and actually he mentioned uh, the famous phrase uh, that we need actually less research better research and research done for the right reasons so if we need actually uh, less research, we ob obviously we need less journals. So why are we launching, as part of the evidence-based medicine initiative, another journal, uh, another medical journal? Actually, the main reason is that this journal is a journal focused uh, with a mission uh, regarding scientific integrity. So the type of articles we are publishing are articles that are that have the aim of improving quality of uh, scientific publications in the medical field. For example, one type of article we invite you to to submit is critical appraisal of literature. Not only very recent articles of literature, but any 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 type of uh, research that have influenced our uh, medical decision, and we think that we need a better appraisal of the the quality of that research. So we believe this type of publications. We we need more journals with this type of critical appraisal and less journals with bad original articles. Uh, so that's why we are launching this, and we we believe this type of articles will be a major. Uh, point in our journal. But it's not only this type of articles. We have also the section of concept articles, uh, evidence-based medicine concepts that teach us how to teach us a methodological aspect of scientific uh, literature that will help us in analyzing research. But not only this, but these concept articles will have help make us understand how to translate uh, the evidence to the medical decision. So it's concept on how to think scientifically uh, in terms of uh, making medical decisions, decisions towards the interest of our patients. Because it's all about the patient. It's not about the evidence itself. It's all about the patient. And the evidence is just a piece of the puzzle that will help us to make a good, a better decision. So this is very important to understand. <clears throat> and also, we have uh, we invite uh, authors to, to, to submit systematic reviews of the literature, not only regarding uh, diagnostic, prognostic or efficacy studies, but also uh, systematic reviews focus on meta-science, understanding how the scientific field behaves in terms of quality of research, publication bias and things like this. Finally, we have a, a, a session called negative, good quality negative articles uh, that we invite, uh, we are open to publish negative articles 
as well as positive articles, but we are p open to negative articles uh, if they have good quality. So, because we think we should uh, balance the, the problem of publication bias that we know, we all know that exists and is very prevalent actually. So, our journal is focused on making people understand what is evidence based medicine, how to think based on evidence, and how to analyze, critical appraise some kind of evidence. Our journal has an objective to popularize science, to make science easy for the professional who needs to consume science. This journal is not only for the scientists or the researchers, it's for the medical professional who needs to consume science. And we, when we are deciding to consume something, we have to analyze if that material is worthwhile consuming. So, we want to make science easy for the health professional. And this is our, actually, our... We, and you will find, actually, our art, uh, journal very interesting if we look at the sections. We have 17 editorial sections of all sort of uh, parts of evidence-based medicine. Uh, some very known of you, but some very original. Like we have a section only about cognitive bias in medical thinking. We have a section about choosing wisely or less is more. We have a section about overdiagnosis. We have a section about outcomes research or effective, uh, effectiveness. Not only about efficacy, but we are also concerned about effectiveness. We have a section on uh, integrity, scientific, scientific integrity. So we have, we have a, a, an interest not only to give answers, but mainly to make good questions. Because a very, uh, the, the real scientists are more interested in, in good questions than in definitive answers. So we want to make people think about stuff. We want to make people think, people question themselves about things that we do every day, traditional things that may not be actually true. And we want, we want to make people uh, be more skeptical in terms of certain things. Always remember that skepticism is not I don't believe. Skepticism is I want to know why I believe in this. I want to look for evidence. So we want to popularize this kind of thinking, the scientific thinking, because we believe that humanity in general will be better off if we are based on science. Not only medical decisions, but every part of life. If we are based on probabilities brought by empirical evidence, we are making better decisions. Of course, decision is not only about evidence or empirical evidence. Other things have to, to be taken into account. And this is part of our concept that we are going to publish, I hope. How to make decisions based on evidence, but also based on patient values also based on my experience in extract that clinical picture of the patient. So we have to talk about how to think scientifically and make decisions, take the things all into account. And that's our main purpose of our journal. And also to popularize science as a nice thing, as an easy thing, and not as a thing just for very formal academic people or, sci or, or, or scientists. Science is about everyday life. And I hope this journal will contribute to this idea. So we invite you to read our journal, and not only to read, but to submit your, your, your ideas to be published in our journal. This journal is not a journal. It will be a network of people thinking scientifically. And I hope you enjoy it. 
Thank you very much.